Hi guys, Mrs. Sapp again. Hey, I'm going to teach you another art lesson today. This one is about an artist whose name was Kurt Schwitters. He's no longer alive. He died a long, long time ago. And he was from Germany. So he wasn't from our country. He was from Europe. You have to take a boat across the big ocean or an airplane to get there. So I want to show you what he looked like. This is a picture of Mr. Schwitters. You can see his photo is in black and white. And remember, that tells us that it's been a long, long, long time since he's been around. But as I told you guys before, the cool thing about art is their artwork lives on and on and on and on much after they're gone. Let me show you one of his pieces of artwork. This is called a collage, and a collage is just a fancy name for a bunch of papers, found objects, scraps of paper, paper you make or paint on your own, all torn and ripped and glued um, down on another piece of paper or cardboard or something like that. So I made one and I thought we could do that today because all you really need at home is glue. Um, if you have scraps of paper at home, you can use those. If you have magazines from, you know, the mail or junk mail, you can ask your mom and dad for stuff from the mail that they don't need and you can use that. You can use wrapping paper, you can use scrapbook paper. Um, you could just use paper from the copier and you can paint it or stamp it and use that in it. You can also use things like tin foil or parchment paper or wax paper that you might find in your mom's kitchen. Just make sure you ask her first if it's okay if you use those things. Let me show you a collage that I made. This is what mine looks like. You can see I used tin foil. I got out the hole punch and I punched holes in another piece of paper. I made my own paper here that I ripped up by using an old lid and stamping with it. So this is the lid that I used and I just stamped on a piece of paper. This is actually fancy colored tape that I used. I don't know if you guys might have some of that at home. Tin foil, you can see it's shining. And I also used a big hole punch or circle punch and I cut out some papers from a magazine. Okay, so <clears throat> you could also grab some q-tips and use those to draw or stamp with. Um, same with like a cork. Um, but let me show you how we're going to get started. If you want to pause the video right now and go grab a bunch of items, that would be a good idea. So you could just grab a glue stick and then those other items that I mentioned, like foil or wax paper or an old magazine or um, packaging from the recycling bin, like cereal boxes, or I even have like a box from um, a tea, bags of tea that I'm going to use. Um, and then just a, a piece of paper that you're going to glue or cardboard that you're going to glue everything onto. I actually have a coloring page here that I printed out and colored and I'm going to use that. I'm just going to rip it in my artwork. Okay. So um, here's my magazine that I was working from. You can just you know, find colors that you like. If you think that red is super neat, you can just rip some shapes out of that. And I think I'll just start with that one. I like how this edge and this edge is straight. So I'm going to put the glue on the back side of that and I'll put it on the corner of my cardboard so I can fill things in real nicely and it's all nice and neat and it's not hanging over the edge. And this is what I mean. See those edges? I'm just going to, like a puzzle, I'm going to match them up there. And then I'm going to give it a back rub so it all lays nice and flat. And now I have my first piece glued down. 
you see how that little guy is still coming up? I'm gonna sneak some glue under there because I don't I really like it when they fly up. And I'm gonna rub him down again. Um, I kind of like the way the um, tin foil looks. So I'm gonna use a piece of that next. I'm just gonna rip it. You could use your scissors if you want to practice cutting with your scissors. Um, or you can just rip like I am. That's also fun and also a good way to do it. You can do the shiny side or the dull side. But again, I like how I have those nice um, straight edges. So I'm gonna go to the other corner and I'm gonna put those up there like a puzzle piece and rub that down. And then um, I think I'll show you next what I mean by stamping. So I have a paper plate and I have some paint and I'm going to use a cork this time and I'm actually going to stamp right on that foil. Look at that. It's kind of fun. It's fun to find different things around the house that you can use in your artwork if you want, um, you know, to do this kind of thing, to stamp. Look, that my lid made like a big circle with nothing filled in. And I could even use a Q-tip and I could put a dot inside of there. I could do lines on my foil. I could do it also on a piece of paper and when it dries, I could rip it and put it down on my cardboard. I could even use a piece of fabric. I had a piece of fabric uh, scrap that I'm gonna put down and glue it on my paper, on my um, artwork. So if you just keep going with all of the items that you found, you can just keep gluing on top of one another, just like I did here. And if it goes over the edge like that, you can rip it off or fold it over. But you would just keep filling in your whole area, just like I did on this one, so that you can make your own collage. And it's also okay if you want to glue papers on top of papers. So say, I don't really like the way that looks. I could actually glue another piece of foil maybe over top of it because that's part of collage making also. You can glue on top of each other on the pieces that you've already laid down, okay? So I hope you'll try this. You can do it over and over and over again if you'd like um, and just have fun with it all week, okay? See you guys soon, bye.